Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for our next episode of Weekly Inspiration. Today's theme is Resolve. I'm Malina Smolansky, a certified instructor of Neurographica. Uh, the power of resolve. By definition, uh, resolve is a firm determination to do something. It's a very powerful theme, as you can think it could be, if you can focus and define your theme. So be, be precise, define your theme for now today. It doesn't have to be a ground, it doesn't have to be to change the world. It's something simple, but something you preferably you have feel strong conviction and you have very strong intention of doing. For example, my theme for today is a, a new direction in teaching. In psychology, is uh, when you talk about with resolve, that could be accomplished when you care about some, about something passionately. To achieve it, you need to ignore the odds against all the other possibilities. And I don't think I'm particularly good at this. And three, prepare to endure. So we have one care passionately, and two, uh, that makes it challenging. That's what we're doing if we think about from psychological point of view only. But if we involve neurographica, we can experience this on our paper first, and then as it will create new neural pathways, a new mindset that will help us to accomplish something. Yes, so you can probably hear not, not only birds today, but also the sound of the tropical rain. So against all the odds, and sitting in a nice and dry room, so we'll continue drawing. And if you have a theme, then you, let's start now. So with Neurographica, we're preparing ourselves mentally. Well, uh, I will use it. Uh, it's a very fine marker because it's first will be a sketch. I would say that the drawing, uh, I have a horizontal position, like landscape position, regular paper, letter size. Uh, actually, it's A4, if you were to inside. The, but the drawing will be probably mostly like square. So prepare that's going to be square drawing because we will start with a circle. So we'll. Uh, what do we need to reach our goal determination? I would say that probably let's draw a target. Something definite, something that we're shooting for. It's my target. I, I'm a really, I'm feeling I'm really determined. I'm determined to do that, but at the same time, I'm using this neurographica to help me on the way. It's not instead. I'm doing a lot of work. I'm doing a lot of research, but that's to make it, to strengthen my determination, my ability to endure, my, my patience, and of course, it's bring good luck in general. So then I have, it's like a target. Somewhere in the middle, it's probably say, teaching, but I'm um, surrounding myself that that's a specific area of my life, teaching, not only just teaching in general, but a specific aspect of teaching so do what do i need to reach my goal our uh, new goal i will set a few aspects that i need in my particular area. think what would help you what tools do you need what materials you need and i draw them as triangles because triangles represent something as action by the way if you're not familiar with neurographica at all you don't know anything about the neurographic line or the principle of rounding or principle intercorrecting interconnectedness and like figures i suggest checking my other videos where i explain how to do and i will list some of the helpful videos in the description under this video but now we will just continue drawing so the triangle typically is action 
It also represents conflict. And also, in pre, we, pre, well, we need conflict, of course, if we are going to do something unusual. So in my uh, area, so, and I, and I draw triangles that point in the circle, just freehand. You can write for the area, I, I, depends on its skills. I need desire, which I have. And a point strongly to the center. So this is like an arrow we're shooting to the center. To the center. Not only skills, but I also, I guess I need knowledge, specific knowledge. I think maybe four or five, I don't know. Okay, so I will get something else. I would say that I need knowledge. Creativity, well, that's a big one. And then that's something completely have a room spot. There's some rules. Some I uh, say that's uh, something that I'm, I'm missing. Well, maybe, 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 sure. maybe something else. So it's a force to be symmetrical. I think I will also have an audience, other people, support. And there's something I would, I would call it good luck. In general, something in America. Okay, so that there's a point and shoot in there. Here's the target and they're all pointing to the center. Jumping to achieve my goal. However, if we look at it, at this drawing, here I actually something maybe I need something here. And no, because because I had empty spots, so I'll just fill it in. Seven is a nice number. So what I need now, what I'm thinking about it when I look at this drawing, a simple example. When we're trying to reach something, here's a simple analogy. If we want to jump onto something, like for example, you know, like a stand, like I said, we want to jump. There's the floor. We need to jump in. We need to, to land on this surface. We need to jump higher. To land in. Now think about the cat. If you watch the cat, a cat before jumping on the table, on the chair, it jumps much higher than the surface. So similarly, to achieve something, we need to aim higher than when we land up on the surface, where we want to be. If we will be a little bit higher, that's okay. So to make sure that I achieve, I overlap my triangle. In this case, I increase. I'm not sure about this skills. They do not reach this point. I want to increase my skills. I'll go instead here. Okay. And I increase skills. Desire. Yes, I would like to have more desire. Definitely more desire. More desire. And also good luck, yes. I feel like I need good luck more. A creative, let's start with creativity. Creativity is even more. I extend it here, make it bigger. And I'll just. Aha, uh -huh. interesting how this creativity overlap with good luck. Overlapping is okay. Skills, skills, okay. So this is not a sketch. The, the, this is a sketch, so I'm not using knowledge. 
I need to increase my knowledge. Of course, I need more knowledge to, to be able, much more knowledge, new knowledge, research more knowledge. I will put it. Now I just trust my head. Oh, how much knowledge I need. Interesting. Yes, and support is also knowledge. Uh, knowledge is, which is support. Desire. Oops. So it's all together. I, I, oh, I make, now I'll just outline. This is my new area of skills. My desire is stronger. Now I, I'm sure that I cover and I reach the goal because the center. <clears throat> Creativity. Uh, good luck. Knowledge. Support. Something wasn't here. I'm not trying to just make sure that I just make it bigger. Whatever it is, I just make this triangle bigger on the basis of this triangle. <clears throat> so I have this very strange figure. And I will and look at this and I see, outline it on our exterior where they all overlap, outline it, make it and see what, what I have. That the figure that out here to all of them is probably this one. I'll try kind of a strange star. Whatever, whatever this is the figure that I see. No, no, not like this. Like I need another array here. Make it look like a star. That will be perfect, but doesn't happen. But I like the shape of it. So I'm what I would like to see, even if like this, how can I how can I make this figure attractive? I like the idea of it, but something is very attractive about it right now, but not exactly. So what could be done? I like how unusual it is, but it's not finished yet. So, I still like it, so I will outline it for now. And I see what will happen when we start working on it. That's a, 
neurographic drawing. We will start adding the lines. Firstly, I would probably would like to these lines that remained to remind me of my please. I'll just out uh, these lines that remained after the figures convert them to regular lines. What we call it is neurographica. Diffuse them in the field. They become just lines. Since you can notice, I preserve those sharpness. I want it to be sharp, this figure. If you feel like uh, uncomfortable, please make sure that you round the colors, uh, the uh, corners. And also, if you don't like the sharpness, I suggest taking the line from the point, each point, extend it as a line. I do not want to extend it, so I don't show but that in your drawing it would be something like this. If you want to make it softer, the triangle look appear less challenging. Here's the triangle, just extend right from each point. But if you can tolerate this uh, sharpness, please continue. So then I use the neurographic lines and continue working as a so the target circle remains. Um, no problems with it. So I out use neurographic line to outline to convert all the lines into neurographic lines. Yes. We'll work a little bit more on it. Yeah. So you can see. So I'm rounding higher. Made it a little bit more perfect. I want to see my target. Nice. It's more like a sphere rather than a circle. Connect. A bit more work on it is because we have so many lines. Well, at least my drawing has many lines. So the main composition is ready. Now I ask myself, 
On the other side, these figures look a little bit empty. So what I can also do, as I'm thinking about specific skills, I can fill those figures with the neurographic lines, kind of explore them, connect them. I don't know exactly what they are, but at least these lines, as the lines of my awareness can fill this space. At the same time, I can, I can think about specific skills preparing myself. For example, speaking skills, maybe some technology, additional technology skills. I definitely need to improve my marketing skills. Mm -hmm. And as if I'm thinking, I'm feeling this figure. So when shapes that represent those qualities or elements that I need in my with lines. Desire, yes. <clears throat> I have a desire, but because of some setbacks and hesitation in the past. My desire is not as bright as it could be. Mm. Now it's much easier. So if I'm thinking about something very specific, my lines flow better. And I'm connecting the sphere. So I'm refining my drawing with my mind. And I can take them, connect them with the background as well. Out to the figure. Support. Not only lines, but you can also think about. Yeah, for example, here I see kind of a round surface, so I would like to more support, and I can add a circle. Support and circle go very, very well together. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Oops, I have another circle here. Just my hand has created it. Let's do it bigger.
and I connect it to the yes. rounding corners. And it was creativity, not creativity. You can see something in a circle here. Excellent. Good luck with creativity. Yes. Beautiful. Share this big circle that I really need support in this area. You can think of what, if you draw the circles, you can think what they represent for you. Yeah, for me, it's just inspiration that comes from a divine source, nothing else. And good luck. I feel like that. So I'm going to use my lines to explore the areas. So good luck. Let me connect stronger. So what I did, because I couldn't understand what happens, I didn't like like this, I started rotating the drawing and see the way I liked it. And when I turned it on this side, when I originally I pointed kind of up, I see that this figure reminds me of crystal. Like shining crystal. So and I will I will outline it again. So that will be my a resolution for this drawing. And I even include it more. I'll, I like it. More, more, more. I would say that it's okay. And I can see it in a new one. So that's why my
So I like this way. A crystal. So let's think about maybe if you want to add colors. Definitely this requires more colors. This drawing. Okay, so I would like to see it more. It's, uh, brighter. All this rays are just uh, brighter, brighter, brighter. Uh, contrast. Coloring on purpose like a, with a, like a ray something like I'm also using intuition. This uh, figure is important, so I'm using color to Make them more prominent. So they stand out more. I will work a little bit more on its uh, color since to finish it nicely. I, again, outline my crystal so that uh, crystallize my resolve. I make make more determination and stronger lines. So now what's left for those who know Neurographica, and I would like to include something uh, to strengthen a drawing, to align your forces with the universe, I suggest drawing the new, the field lines. The field lines is the lines that they extend from the bottom, uh, from 
one side of the page to another, and that will carry energy. So what uh, for the center? So if this is the center, uh, like a few lines that help support, and they. So if this is probably with the center. I will include a few lines that help me to bring energy to the center. It converge in the center. Right point. And probably one more. I think four will be fine for this drawing. So just you know, you can never observe. So migrants desire, knowledge, creativity, and skills. They converge into one. And please pay attention to the way I take them from outside, directing towards the center. And also to complete the drawing, make sure that you round all the new, new corners, formed corners between the wider lines and existing lines. And I will finish the drawing and I will include it. Uh, I can see whether they will be good to look in this position. I think in this position also it's good. So now when I formed and I realized this crystal, it could, looks good from this from mid direction as well in the landscape. So either, I think it's landscape probably better. It's still an important way. It's shiny in the center. And it's attractive. And attractive in an unusual way. Attractive, but because it's not symmetrical. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for participating. And I look forward to seeing your drawing. And until next time in our weekly inspiration series. Thank you and have a lovely week.